start on the offense. As John pointed out, Tom Brady didn't have, like, gaudy numbers, but he made a lot of good plays, Jeff. And what did you like about that offense in general? Yeah, the balance of this offense was just spectacular. And I give Byron Leftwich a ton of credit. You heard they went in with the attitude. It was not going to be like the last time they played with five runs. They get beat 38-3. to Instead, they had 35 rushes. I mean, 35 rushes. They only had 33 passes. That's almost unheard of from a Tom Brady football team. But this team blocked up extremely well in pass protection. You heard B.A. just talk about it, right? Gave up one sack. But listen, this is a team that had six sacks throughout the first two games. So they completely changed their ability to block this front four. You saw guys sticking their face in. He talked about Joe Hague, who's the extra offensive lineman they bring in, Gronkowski on the edges. But they physically dominated this Saints team up front. And that is the difference in wins and losses. Listen, we can talk about all the shiny toys outside, all the receivers, quarterbacks, all those things. When the offensive line and defensive line dominate like they did tonight, this is what changes games, and that's why they won tonight. Indications are this is probably going to be Drew Brees' final game. Hasn't been officially announced if it's true. Jeff, how do you remember him as a quarterback in this league? Oh, man. Listen, one of the, one of the, one of the greatest of all time. And listen, I had the opportunity to work with him mm -hmm. at, with the Players Association and just the relationship I have with him off the field. He is just a tremendous human being. Uh, what he's done for the New Orleans Saints coming over to that organization after he left the Chargers, what he did. It's so much more than just all his numbers on the field, and those are special. And listen, for a guy who he took a Super Bowl from me, for me to have, still have that much respect for him as a player <laughs> and as a man, man, I just I appreciate so much w what he did. Listen, there, you know, w when, you, when you can just – you know, there's five guys, you know what I mean? When you can just name those five and they're always on the forefront of your mind, you know all the things he's overcome. He's just had an incredible career. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny, honestly, I hope he doesn't retire. But if he does, man, I mean, listen, he's left it all out there. There is no, there is no regret in what that man has done on the football field. Yeah, if he doesn't retire, Absolutely we'll not. all know that you said nice things about him before his next season. Ryan, you were nodding <laughs> as well. If we do believe him, do you believe it is his final? I guess that's the first question. You know what, I do believe that it's his final game. And, you know, much like Jeff said, if it is his final game, he's done enough. What he's been for this city, uh, me being from New Orleans, knowing the way the people there support him. And they don't just support what he's done as a player. They support what he's meant to that community, what he's been post-Katrina. And when you think about a guy that was drafted in the second round and they draft your replacement fourth overall when you're there and they jettison you, you only have one team that truly wants you there because of a shoulder injury and have over a decade and a half of true excellence and true greatness with one organization, it's truly just unheard of. And you think about Drew Brees not being the tallest, not having the strongest arm, but doing everything that he was supposed to do in the correct manner as a person, as a professional, as a player, to excel. He wasn't just good. He excelled. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks of our era. He will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and that will be a speech that many people from this state, this city of New Orleans will be excited about because of what he made this organization. This was an organization that wasn't used to winning, and they've been a consistent winner, and it's because of the quarterback play of Drew Brees. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.